Hello and welcome to pmzlounge.com. Today we are discussing how to calculate the expected monetary value also known as EMV. So with the help of an example, we will look at how this calculation is done. Very important from your PMP point of view, you may get a question or two in the exam about calculating EMV. So hang around. Now also if you're into reading articles rather than watching videos, if you would rather read an article about how to calculate EMV, then first link in the description is for you. It takes you to an article over at our official website pmclounge.com that talks about EMV calculation. Also, second link in the description is the entire playlist of every single video that we have done on risk management knowledge area. So two important links. Like always, I want to remind you guys so that you don't miss out on them. Let's get started. So previously, when we discussed the perform quantitative risk analysis process, we did touch upon EMV already. And here's what we talked about it. With the help of EMV analysis, you will be able to calculate the costs of all the paths you might take during the course of your project. So when we say paths, we are basically talking about how you're going to deal with risks on your project. If a risk materialize, what path are you going to take and how much it is going to cost you? That's exactly what EMV analysis is going to show you. In addition to the perform quantitative risk analysis process, you should also remember another important topic, which is the P and I matrix or the probability and impact matrix that we had earlier discussed. And that's why I say second link in the description has every single video that we have made on risk management knowledge area. So check that out. We have a video on probability and impact matrix as well. So a question that you should be asking at this point in time is how does this matrix help you plan? And the answer to that question is AMV. So let's say you have five risks on your project. And let's assume all of these risks materialize. How much dollars would you need because of these risks being materialized? This is where EMV calculation comes into play. It helps you calculate the dollar amount for every single risk on your project. And that way you will be able to calculate the total cost of all the risks on your project. And we will take a look at that calculation in an example in the coming slides. So stay around. Before we look into the example, let me remind you, if you're looking for PMP preparation book recommendations, head over to pmclounge.com slash resources. That's where we have listed our favorite books. All right, now let's calculate EMV and let's look at an example. So in this table, you see three risks. Risk number one is server hardware failure. The probability of this risk materializing is 15%. And if this risk does materialize, you will have to pay $300 for maintenance. So if your server hardware fails, you are going to pay $300 for maintenance. Similarly, another risk is a dependent coding module is completed early. If this happens, the probability of this happening is 8%. If this happens, it is going to save two days of work and an overall $500 in cost. So that's the amount you're going to save if a dependent coding module is completed early. Finally, your procurement being stuck at customs. This is also a risk and there's a 10% chance of this happening. Also, if it does happen, it is going to cost up to $100 for additional paperwork. So the risk procurement being stuck at customs, there's a 10% chance that it can happen and it will cost $100 for additional paperwork. So these are the three risks in your project. You have the probability here and you have the dollar values of their impact as well. In the P&I matrix, you used to have your probability already. You may not have the impact in terms of dollars, but if you do, this is how you're going to calculate EMV with it. Let's look at other slide. 
Okay, so let's see how EMV is calculated. You're going to calculate it for each risk. Risk one, the probability was 15%. If you remember, we talked about server hardware failure. The probability was 15%. $300 was the cost for maintenance if the server hardware fails. That means the EMV for this risk is $45. It is minus because it is an additional cost. Risk to 8%, $500, $40 is the EMV. This is positive and I'll tell you soon why. Risk 3, 10% probability, $100 is the cost. $10 is the EMV, which is in minus because again, this is an additional cost. Risk 2 is an opportunity. It is not a negative risk. It is a positive risk, also known as an opportunity. Remember, completing code early is going to save $500. That was risk 2. If you can go back in the video to see it again, if you have forgotten. But these are the three values that you finally have. Right, let's move on. So you're going to add all these values for total EMV. So you've got minus 45, you've got minus 10, and you've got plus 40, and the final value is minus 15. So what this means is $15 is the extra money that you need to add to your project budget to account for all the project risks. So you listed all your risks, there were three, you calculated the probability of those risks materializing, you calculated the cost for those risks if they did materialize, and then you multiplied the two and added all of this to get the final value which was only $15. So that's the money that you need to keep in your project budget to make sure that all risks are covered. So obviously this means that EMV is not just aiding you with risk management, it is also aiding you with cost management knowledge area. Question for this video, who funds the extra money for this EMV calculation? So you've got $15, the result that you got in the previous example. Who is going to give you this $15? Let me know in the comments. Definitely looking forward to your answers. So that's all that we had in this video. Do hit the like button if you got value out of it and we're able to understand how EMV is calculated. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new videos. Also, don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you.